Let's give this guy a go now and see if it works. Okay. Maybe we'll leave this over here. Clip is off. Switch is off. Speed's on 45. Power on. Here we go. It's turning good. Pretty good. I'm testing the uh, amount of slippage in the drive of the just by dragging my finger. Really good. It's really, really good. So let's play a fake record here. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's great. Yeah. I see a problem. You can't quite see it from your angle. Hang on tight, I'm gonna move the camera. There's the problem, right there. It didn't, it didn't, it should have just stuck. Something I didn't lubricate here. Yeah, see that? I didn't, I didn't spot that. Okay, I'll have to pop it over again. I think it's just gonna keep doing that. Oh, good, let's just try this. Try that again. Put this down this time, indicating there's no more records. It should shut itself off. And it just can't move this lever. That's the problem. So we gotta go after that lever. I missed that. I missed that. I missed it. It's kind of up in here, a little bit hidden from my view, and it didn't, just didn't catch my attention. Okay, so I'm looking at the mechanism up in here, looking at all the different parts that interact, looking for something that Need some lubrication. Okay, so that's a, a general problem in there. So I have some. I have a can of general solution here. Let's see. WD-40. Isn't that a mess? Okay, now put a little bit of grease on here. Actually, white grease might be a little better, but as I said before, don't have any, so we'll put in some axle grease here. Trying to apply the grease to the contact, the mechanism contact points, and I'm relying a little bit on where I saw grease before. OK, 
Okay. about it. Yeah. Okay. Now, I wonder if that fixed it. Let's try it out. try. Could that have made enough difference? So it's really a question of, here I go again with the camera, it's really a question of whether this control will just fall back when I push it to a reject setting. Let's see. No, it's still sticking. Hmm. You know what? I think this plastic piece here is actually well, maybe not. Okay, well I didn't get it, so let's let's take another look here. Click. There should be a nice loud click at that point, and it should shut off, but it doesn't, so still something going on in the mechanism here. Oh, I think I didn't apply lubrication right up in the actual actual control here. Whoops, didn't unplug it. So the way you can track down where stickiness is, is you, well, you start wiggling parts. This part, see how free that part is? And that's directly connected to the control arm, and the control arm is not loose at all. So I think it's just the control arm right here. Oh, it's got a, a kind of a C-clip on it there. So I think maybe... I'm just wondering if something's bent a little bit. I think it's just rubbing up against the, the plate here. That's what I think. So we'll start with a little bit of alcohol. A little bit. A little bit generous on the alcohol there. Still sticking. Not this piece. Not this. It's definitely in here. So let, let's take that clip off. I don't think I've ever taken one of these controls apart like this. And this is not your average clip here.
let's see. The control is loose here. It wiggles around quite nicely. If I put it up in this position, it's no longer wiggling. Somehow, as I move it further along its travel, it gets more and more hung up on the uh, on here. I wonder why that is. I wonder if it's been forced or something in the past. And uh, Camera's still running? Good. I'm trying to do this with just one camera now because I I think when I'm flipping between cameras, that's what makes my computer act up. So I can be rubbing right in here. The, uh, let's see. Bottom of the control. Sorry about the focus here. This is a uh, Cannot adjust the focus on this camera. Gee. Sure, sure, it looks like it's been bent or something. Uh, it's really rubbing hard right in here. So if I take that clip off there, whoops, sorry, if I take that clip off, the whole mechanism's gonna fall out. Let's do that. Hey, something new. I wonder if there's a tool made for taking these clips off. A special tool. We're gonna part fill right out. Dropped out. I can actually get it any more part than that, but now we can see what's really going on under there. Let's give it a little clean up. suggest that there was some grease under here at one time and it's just given up the ghost. I don't know, I think our next move is just to lubricate this guy up quite a bit. Put it back together. Parts are coming apart. The parts are apart. What? Did I lose something there? Uh oh.
I took that little clip off a piece, and the piece I took it off appears to have disappeared. Okay, I'm going to stop the video while I hunt down the piece that I think has disappeared. Hmm. I just never know. Okay, so I had to watch back my own video and re watch myself remove that clip and see the part disappear. And there it is. I found it. Kind of tucked away out of sight down in the cabinet there. It fell silently too. Now, is this somehow implicated in the situation? Doesn't look very good. It looks, looks like dried up stuff here. I wouldn't imagine this could hold that control. There's something dried up in here. Okay, um, Okay, so this kind of clip, this one here, which is slightly different looking than the other clips, is actually a spring clip. It actually has a shape to it, which means it applies some pressure, continuing pressure. So maybe this part does play a Hey, this doesn't fit on here. Yeah, that's the other clip. I'm forgetting what I just did for crying out loud. Oh, okay, maybe. No, oh, this dropped out, so it has to go in this way. I wasn't concentrating hard enough. I think I'm forgetting something here. Still sticking. Okay, another possibility is there's a spring missing somewhere. I didn't find one in the bottom of the player. It appears to be just no force pulling this control back. 
should be. Okay, so I can see a spring here operating. take this clip back off here and see uh, if, if I release the tension here. I don't know. Did you see where that went just now? Boy, oh boy. I think I heard it roll over yonder. So we'll look for it in a second and see if this helped. Any. nothing pulling it back. Okay, so let's take this all apart again. Watch it man, you're gonna lose more parts. Now, with this completely free, will this mechanism Look at that's what it's supposed to do. Right there. But once this is in place, it cannot pull it. So since lubrication is not working, there has to be some problem with the shaping of the metal here that it's it's binding because of its shape. And you know the only possibility I can come up with is somebody man, you know manhandled the uh, control here and has bent this piece of metal a little little wee bit. to figure out which way to bend it back if that's the case. It's kind of funny looking. Looks like somebody's been at it with a tool. Yeah, it looks really funny. There's no, no easy way to get it all the way out of here. Or is there? I didn't think they'd shape this so it can fall apart, but yeah. Okay. Hm. Oh, look at that! It did come off. Okay. Now what? I think I can feed this whole control. get it back together. So, here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yes, this piece of metal has been mangled. It really doesn't look like it. it. Looks as flat as a pancake. And this really looks like the way it's supposed to be. Holy schmoly. You know, it's all about diagnosis here and, and knowing exactly where the problem is. See, as soon as I push this flat here, it begins to bind. And I think it is binding in that slot. So I think if I just bend this up a little bit. Ah, see, there is a skid mark right along there. 
if I can bend this up a little bit, we might be back in business. Well, I guess we'll only be back in business if I can find that little tiny clip. Ah. That's a big challenge. Let me get a magnet here. That didn't take long. There it is. Clip is back. That's my great grandfather. No, it's nobody. I mean, who is that? Who is that guy? Marconi. That's Marconi there, Mr. Marconi. My bench looks more interesting than his, don't you think? Now, to bend this piece appropriately, I think it's pretty simple to do. get paid lots of money to do stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna slip this back through, but I think I gotta put this on here first. Oh which way? So that's in like that. This is in like that. No, no oh, no no. Is this the other end is up like this. Must have been in the top like that. Must have been. Okay. So we got it. Put that in. Put that in. No, we don't. Take it out. Put this under here. Holy smokes. Now we attempt to put this in. Some. As a kid, we used to have these toys, uh, maybe like five or six um, sets, if you like, of bent pieces of metal that were hooked together. And the challenge was to figure out how to, how to unhook them. I wonder if I still have those around somewhere. Okay, so we'll give this a quick test with my finger. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Together here. Now this literally fell apart when I wasn't even looking. This part up here. Almost. Yeah, it's a good thing metal bends a bit. Okay, go in there. Right there. That's in, that's in, that's in. That would be three that's in. Put this guy on. Okay. Ha! Presto! Presto. You know, if I'm not videoing these things, which I video everything I do in here now, but I did work in my shop for a whole year. I never videoed anything. I still talked out loud a little bit and celebrated all my little successes. 
and all that stuff. So now what am I doing? Okay, so if I put this through here. No, no, no. Put this on first. Put this pin down through there. Put the flying spring clamp back on. Oh, that went on easy. Check it. Hey, what's happening? It's all crummy again. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I bent it up. I bent it up, yes. Let's see if I can show you once. I bent it up into a new position of interference. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to change cameras, see if this stalls out my video production. Yeah, right there by the big blue foot. Okay, so here we are. So you can see the piece of metal in there, and it has two places to interfere. One is on the plastic shell, and the other one is in the metal slot, which is down in there. So I think it's rubbing on the plastic shell. I think I bent it too far. So if I move it down a bit. Ah. And then move it. And now not move it down. Absolutely. I bent it up too far. So now I have to bend it back down. There. There we are. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, did I put this whole thing back together yet? I just kind of remember where that clip came from. Okay. Let's put this back like this. Take this off. Take this off. Let's see if I forgot to put the clip back on the... No! Clip's there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 